I wanted to share this grouping of uh, Mount Shasta, Lady Nellie Cash, Volcanic Glass, Paleo Story Stone, Face and Mammoth Effigies that were dug in, in the late 60s by Lady Nellie Thompson at her property in Mount Shasta, California. Now, I've acquired this volcanic glass from Indonesia. I've acquired it from Arizona, from China, and uh, of course, California, Mount Shasta pieces. And I originally thought, and I've done some videos on this piece, and I'm embarrassed to say I made an error that I'd like to correct. I thought this came from Indonesia. I have over a dozen dealers in Indonesia that sell Andara glass, and they mine it out of alluvial deposits in Java, Indonesia. And those sources are by far the largest sources known at this time, because most of the material heretofore has come from Java, Indonesia. And, uh, but I made a mistake. This came from a dealer in Canada, the west coast of Canada. Now, I, I buy from about a dozen dealers throughout the country, um, including Canada and one in Germany that have sold the Lady Nelly uh, Mount Shasta uh, volcanic glass pieces on Dara crystal pieces uh, to me. And, um, and so uh, this came from Canada and is for sure a Lady Nelly Mount Shasta. The eye we're going to see has been treated where the hair has been engraved there all around the eye of the mammoth now facing left. That's a common treatment we're going to see in all of these pieces here. And it's a common trait to Mount Shasta. But these come from different dealers. I, I don't buy these from the same folks. Uh, that's a great face there with the pointed nose. And this the eye right here looking off to the right. That's a great face image right there. And then another nose over here and mouth of a face looking off to the left. And then we have another great baby mammoth image with this little trunk off to the right right there. Just outstanding. And this is a Clovis biface. And it's heavily, heavily patinated. Look at that Clovis biface, beautifully contoured around the perimeter to form these beautiful mammoth and face imagery. Uh, now, this one here comes from Mark and Linda. I recommend them. They, they are Andara vol uh, Volcanic Glass Sales uh, people. They're in Kauai, Hawaii. And uh, Mark and Linda, you can look them up on the internet, and they, mo their, their material is Lady Nelly material. So they're selling Clovis material. And this is a Clovis flake. See, this is a Clovis flake like the ones we find out in the desert um, on the surface of Calico Hills and Harvard Hill, a presumed Clovis site. So we find these same flakes, but we don't find them out of this beautiful volcanic glass. This comes from Mount Shasta. Notice the eye treatment of the mammoth facing off to the right. That's all been beautifully, beautifully etched and engraved into the stone. That has nothing to do with natural quality of the stone. You can see it's patterned and flaring out from both sides of the eye. And again, it's not natural at all. It's been, engra it's been engraved in there and easy to see that. And you can feel it, of course. Uh, it's, it's ridged. But uh, that's a great mammoth now facing off to the right. And Mark and Linda from uh, Kauai have some great material. This came, this is a Lady Nelly Mount Shasta piece, came from Germ a, a dealer in Germany. I acquired this about four years ago, three, three and a half years ago. You can see that same etching around the eye that flares out around the eye of the mammoth now facing off to the left. That is so cool. It's a trait we find on the Lady Nelly material in particular, although it is found, I, I believe it's found, I think I've seen it from Indonesia, but for sure from Mount Shasta, California, which I believe again is Clovis. Look at the etching on top there too. These are not flaking ripples or anything like that. Those are actually etch lines that go into the stone that were engraved into the stone. And uh, Dr. Michael Gramley and I have uh, discussed that. And uh, quartz crystals work real good in engraving this glass. So topaz or any other harder crystals would easily engrave, engrave the glass. And the Paleo Indians were masters at engraving flake stone to image the hair of the mammoth and the hair of the faces in the uh, Paleo Story Stone effigies that I discovered back in October of 2020. We hadn't seen etching on flake stone before my discovery because it had gone unnoticed. People just didn't Look at that etching there. Isn't that cool on top of the ridge of the mammoth there? 
Wow, that is heavy duty grooving right there, folks. That is some great stuff. Here's another Mount Shasta piece. Now notice that eye again of this baby mammoth with this little trunk over here. Look at the eye again and how they've engraved that around the eye. We see this on many. Now this came from a different dealer. This came from a different dealer. Actually, I got this on eBay from a dealer that sells on Dara Volcanic Glass. And then this one here is a cool piece. That is beautifully worked and engraved. That engraving work on this is so cool. And then you have a really cool face because this big eye, nose, and mouth looking off to the right with his beard here. And another pointed nose over here with the eye here looking off to the left. And look at all that hair. This thing is a beautiful stone. Uh, just an outstanding stone. You've got a mammoth now facing left with a big draping trunk coming down. And that's the back of the mammoth where they left the natural part of the outer part of the stone. That's the cortex there. That hasn't been worked there. About the only part on the stone that hasn't. That engraving is outrageous. Some great patterned engraving on this piece and great patination. And, uh, and then, of course, we get back to this piece here which is totally engraved everywhere for the hair of the mammoth and the faces. And this eye has been just beautifully flared out there again um, with all that beautiful engraving work to form that eye right there. Look at all, all this here, all this area here has been worked in paleo times. That's all engraving. That's not natural. Here's the stone that's been flaked right up to the edge of this. And then, then they engraved all that. That's a baby mammoth facing right. So I just wanted to share some Mount Shasta Paleo Story Stone face and mammoth effigies made out of beautiful, beautiful volcanic glass. One other thing, when, you, when this glass is tested, it has to be tested at a major university in their geology department. XRF guns are unreliable. So portable XRF guns, I would not take that to the bank at all. And it's not really accept, widely accepted at all within the disciplines. Not a portable gun. So it needs to be done at a laboratory. I had this done. These tested at uh, three samples tested at the Stephen F. Austin State University in Austin, Texas, a well-respected uni research university. They sampled a yellow one, a blue one, and a green one. And uh, they did uh, the XRF X-ray fluorescence testing in the laboratory, in their geology lab. And the spreadsheet printout can be accessed under most of my Andara Volcanic Glass videos that are posted on YouTube. Uh, if you hit the more section underneath the videos, it'll take you to a description of this beautiful glass and a link to the scientific spreadsheet that will give you the exact atomic structure of this glass according to um, the geology department at Stephen F. Austin State University in Austin, Texas. A very reliable laboratory, and that's the only way this glass can be tested. Otherwise, you're likely to get false uh, information. Just wanted to share again this beautiful Andara volcanic glass. Beautiful mammoth baby face and laugh right now. It's eye all just beautifully engraved. From Mount Shasta, California, part of the Lady Nellie Thompson cache dug in the late 60s on her property.